welcome to my channel. It's Rachel from Paper Ventures. Today I am boxing up some mail that is going out to Tony at Polka Dot Mailbox. I'll link her down below. Um, we are involved in a huge, huge swap that is so much fun and I will link all that down below. Um, you would have already seen my incoming mail video where I give all the details so you can go check that out as well. But this is the outgoing mail to Tony so you can see what I sent her and all my little notes here and instructions. So I'm going to move this box aside and we're gonna package it together. Okay, so I have many different elements here and I'm going to show you all of them. I want to make sure I don't miss a thing. This package was a little bit difficult to like physically package just because of the different elements, but I think we'll be okay. So this is the first thing I have here and it is some clipboard mail, I guess you could call it. Um, I do have a video on this if you're interested and I put a little note. Oh, I guess I should tell you what the swap is <laughs> um, because there are so many notes. And so anyway, the swap is we, it's like a bits and bob swap. So we are basically partnered up with somebody else and we have to give each other different bits and bobs that we use frequently and just kind of sharing the love and sharing it with, um, our swap partner and sharing some of our favorite things so anyway now that I got that cleared up <laughs> sorry about that I have this clipboard clipboard mail that I'm sending out and it has some of my favorite things inside so on the back we have uh, I'm not going to go through it all because it's all like packaged perfectly at this point but we have some a sticker sheet and it has like different labels on it I know you can't really see that too well but there's that and then I packaged up some enamel dots because I love enamel dots uh actually the enamel dots are in that one that one is the heritage uh wax seals and then I also gifted her some doilies you can see there and here I just gave her a bunch of ephemera and just kind of put it all on the clipboard so I have my box and I'm going to put just a little bit more, just a little bit at the bottom and put that in there. I have no idea a good way to package this clipboard. Maybe I could put some tool around it. Let's at least do that. But yeah, this is quite the uh, complicated thing to package because I didn't really have any, like, usually I reuse packaging from older things like sticker packs and stuff but um that I don't have anything big enough so let's do that at least get this thread out of here I've been doing lots of sewing apparently but that at least kind of puts it all together what do you think so let's put that on the bottom and I just wrote a note that this package includes some of my favorite things the minimum was six um I didn't really count, but I know there's like a lot of different, there's a big variety in here. Okay, so this one, I'll take it out. This is a little memory decks that I made for her. We chatted about how we should send each other memory decks cards. So I actually made her a little holder um, using, this paper is from the um, Crate Paper Sunny Days collection because she said she loves that collection. Um, and I don't really have much left of that except for the paper. So um, yeah, so I included one of these. I probably have a video for it. Um, and I will, I think I will have a video coming out of this one soon. Um, and some other memory decks cards using envelopes um, that I made, if it's not out already. So I included those two that I made and then I just made this little one. It's kind of simple, but it's like a shaker memory deck. And I just got a sewing machine and my sewing is terrible right now, but I am learning and I just kind of, it's really simple decoration on it, but I still thought it was cute. And then I included some blank memory decks cards for her because um, I thought that would be useful as kind of like one of my favorite things is like making memory decks cards so she can make one of her own. So I'm going to package that up in here. Not the greatest way to package it, but it's better than nothing at all. So that's what I'm going to do. Oh yeah. And I also, I forgot about that. I wanted to add some candy inside. So let me get some crinkle paper and I wanted to include that candy there and then a little bit more crinkle paper 
and we'll put that candy in there. There. So there's a special treat in the memory decks card. Sorry, I don't know if you could see that, but um, there we go. And I'm going to put some sequins in to make it all pretty. Oh boy. Okay. Okay, there we go. That kind of fits okay. Although I might put some Pringle paper in between. Let's take that out. Just a little bit. Just to give it some good cushioning. Okay, there we go. Next. Um, oh yes. Yeah. So this one is a sequin mix in here. I won't take it out just because it's packaged all right, but, um, maybe I do want to add some sequins though. So I might as well open it. Let's just open it and look inside. This I made a while ago. I probably have a video for it somewhere. You can just search all these up on my channel. Um, I do use the tags and stuff, but I made this little sequin mix with purple and gold. I kind of have a purple theme going on here. I know some people are like, they either love or hate purple. So I'm hoping she likes purple. Yikes, I didn't even think of that. But I feel like, is that not true? Like people in the crafting world, they either love or hate purple. And I love purple. So that's just me. So let's put some sequins in there and place that there. And then this one, I'm a little bit worried that it might um, not all stay together uh, in transit. However, it is a little basket. Oh, sorry about Harvey. It's a little basket with some rosettes. And I made one and then I'm giving her some rosettes that actually Emily made for me in a swap. I'm just giving her three. Um, I just have so many and so I thought it would be kind of a cool idea if I gave her one and then um, if I gave her one and then that I made and then some blank ones that she can use. So sharing that a little bit um, and then I put little bit of tool around the basket so I'll just kind of place that there and then in here I literally just added some bits and bobs in here she mentioned some little like things she likes like tassels and stuff so I put a bunch of fun things in there but yeah so that yeah those rosettes were from Emily and um this was this uh diamond itself is actually was actually from cheryl in a swap so just trying to reuse things the best i can this was the note for the rosettes and this is my note for on top so i am going to just put some crinkle paper on top and then some of these sequins and my note. So that's it. Like I said, I will link everything down below. Um, and you can also see what Tony got me. I'm sure she spoiled me because she is just the best and too kind and has such, such a sweetheart. So yeah, I'll tag or I'll, I'll link everyone down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and feel free to subscribe if you want to support my channel and hope you have a great day. Bye.